The north side community on edge after a series of utility company implosions. Our cameras were rolling when this tower comes down. Neighbors telling news for Jax they woke up in a panic, worrying that something had gone wrong. So it scared me to death and I jumped up and my two little dogs were just barking all over the place, but we didn't know what it was. That neighbor lives blocks away from that implosion, which was one of at least three reported. She says she was never alerted by Florida Power and Light. In the past hour, I reached out to the city of Jacksonville to see what local leaders knew about these scheduled implosions. A spokesperson for the mayor's office tells me, quote, I have personally have not heard anything or been notified. I also reached out to the three city council members whose districts surround this region. Joyce Morgan, Al Ferraro, and Reggie Gaffney. So far, I've only heard back from Councilman Gaffney. He was not aware of the implosions, but is contacting JEA to see if he can find out anything more. But keep in mind, I'm told these are an FPNL implosion, not JEA. We also reached out to FPNL for comment. The utility spokeswoman said they did notify residents, JSO and JFRD, about the implosions at a closed coal-fired power plant on Eastport Road. I reached out to all the local media yesterday so that you guys would uh, would have a heads up. And then I know that um, our some of our demolition team reached out to the community, but I'm not sure of exactly how they did that. But we did reach out to a lot of the neighbors so that they would be aware. But um, you know, it is a it is a, a can be very loud. So unfortunately, um, I apologize if we took people by surprise. Of today's blast, tell news for Jacks. They were left in the dark too. Ethan Calloway is live. Near Neighbors were told about the implosions. Yeah, it's got a lot of people in this area really concerned about this. We received a number of phone calls in our newsroom with people asking us if we knew about it in advance. Of course, we do know what those loud booms were now, and word has slowly gotten out here in the community as well. But some, uh, they really told us they feared the worst when they heard those sounds today. Uh, with so many industrial complexes in this area, they were worried something might have gone wrong and people might have gotten hurt. One man heard what he describes as very loud booms around 8 this morning. He tells us the explosions rattled the windows of his home and says FPL should have made sure people in the community were aware of what was happening before those blasts. And from what we know, these blasts are now finished for the day. Neighbors here say they hope this will be handled differently in the future if it is ever done again. We are live on the north side of Ethan Calloway, Channel 4, the local station. station. Scott. Uh, what about police? Did JSO know anything about the implosions ahead of time? Yeah, they did. Scott, they didn't know anything ahead of time. JSO tells us they were receiving those calls just like we were from people in the community wondering what those sounds were. And in fact, they even sent out uh, officers here to check things out and make sure everything was OK. So they were just as taken off guard by it uh, as we were. Scott. Ethan Calloway, thank you. And our coverage continues online. There you can read the breakdown of the city leaders' responses. We've also posted the uncut video from the Sky 4 drone. You can find those inside our stories on the homepage of newsforjax.com.